The Olympic Games are an international sports festival that aims to cultivate human beings through sport and contribute to world peace. South Africa was the first African country to participate in the Olympics where the participants traveled to the United States of America with the hope to bring gold medals home. Now the Soweto Parliament are bringing Olympics to Soweto Township. Good evening, my name is Zola Shalwana. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we talk all things sports, motivation, empowerment and involvement. Joining me in studio is Soweto Parliament President and Tlanta Lax Muslaudi, who is bringing Olympics to the township through one of Soweto's Parliament's initiatives called Soweto Parliament Olympics. Mr. Muslaudi, thank you for joining us in studio. Commander's money, that's what we say where I come from. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now the World Olympics have been taking place for decades, yeah. right? What motivated Soweto Parliament to actually you know, come up with this initiative? Look, it's the fact that we understand the terrain, meaning we understand Soweto. Soweto has millions of people, and uh, Soweto's population is bigger than most countries. So for us to always just piggyback on you know, like what the solutions of the township, depending on what South Africa does and says, the rest of the country, it's, it's not it. We, need, we have leaders. We have competent um, councillors on the ground. We have competent uh, leaders, and we all unite through Soweto Parliament. And he said we need to do more for our people. And one of the things that will take the young people off the streets is giving them an opportunity to participate in sports, express their talents in various sporting codes, mm -hmm. and, um, and also contribute towards um, winning something major for their communities. Because with the Soweto Olympics, when you win, the community with the most points wins a million rand mm -hmm. to build any sports infrastructure in their ward or in their community. Oh, that's great. So now tell me, um, when you compare the World um, Olympics and Soweto Olympics, yeah. what's going to be different or the, if it's yeah. Look, the, the fundamental difference is that the World Olympics is organized by massive budgets. Uh, we organizing Olympics from literally donated budgets. So we've got a, a big um, sponsor, um, Betway. Betway has helped us with the main price of the million rand. But what will drive the type of sports that we participate in, which, which would be the fundamental difference, mm -hmm. is the actual sporting facilities available to host sporting codes in Soweto. Mm -hmm. So right now, the ones that we chose, like for example, canoeing and rowing, mm -hmm. is all in the water because we do have the dam and we have an active canoeing and rowing club in Soweto. Mm -hmm. And we have the soccer, we have the athletics, which includes track and field, 100 meter sprints, hurdles, um, high jump on the field, and etc. We also have motorsport uh, development. We've got go karting, meaning racing with those um, small cars. Mm -hmm. um, why? Because we've got the facility. That one will be hosted at Maponya Mall. We've got golf because Soweto has a golf course, a tournament ready, world class mm -hmm. golf course. So we, the infrastructure, the environment dictated what sporting codes we're going to go with in the Soweto Olympics. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now we know that Soweto is obviously big on sports. You know, um, it's one of the townships where great talent comes mm -hmm. from. How important is it to give you know, new talent opportunities? It's important. It's, it's something that should be happening everywhere, not only just in the sporting, in the sporting uh, fraternity, even in politics, even in business. Young people must be given an opportunity. The only thing young people need is a platform to express their talent. They'll show you flames. And the, there's a big reason why um, the old people that are leading everything are not giving young people an opportunity. Are you telling me that you don't think that there's someone who's faster, who's the fastest sprint in the country that comes from Soweto? There should be. We've, should got, be. we've got millions of people. I mean, what are the odds? And the talent that is out there is just super amazing. We just need to provide opportunities for expression of talent, and even in the arts, even in music, even in... So we just need to give the young people an opportunity to express themselves. And the Soweto Olympics are, is, is doing that at a large scale because we have attracted 22,000 people mm -hmm. participating, trying to qualify. Mm -hmm. Right now, that's what we're dealing with from an admin back end point of view. So are you telling me that there's 22,000 people who are just chilling in street corners, mm -hmm. who are now going to try out different sporting codes and mm -hmm. hopefully try qualify to compete in the Soweto Olympics? That means there is a market. This is mm -hmm. the first and definitely not the last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about young people, is there maybe like um, an age restriction well, for people that want to enter to be part of the Olympics? No, there isn't an age restriction. So we, we've made it open as the first Olympics to try and just give absolutely everybody, focusing, mm -hmm. even though we're focusing on young people, every, anyone, the opportunity to qualify and participate um, we've got a little quota system in the soccer. We said that um, the, the field needs to, at any given time, have six young people and um, five old people, open players, no problem. 
Mm -hmm. So now let, let's talk about this. Do you have maybe a restriction of the number of people that you're going to allow to participate um, in the um, in the Olympics? Because, like you said, you've got about twenty-two thousand people yeah. that have shown interest. Yeah. Is there like a, a limit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we've got an, a, a day of qualifying, which is on the fifteenth of October. Mm -hmm. So those who think uh, Usain Bolt, they run mm -hmm. the hundred meters. We all come together on the fifteenth, and we take the top ten because mm -hmm. an, an, uh, a track. Uh, an athletics track, sprinting track, only has eight lanes. So it's not even my opinion of mm -hmm. whether 20 people must qualify or not. You need to be qualifying um, in, with what the competition um, you know, regulates. So uh, sprints will, will take the top 10, uh, two subs, um, eight com uh, competitors. And uh, I think from 22,000, we're going to go down to 860 Okay. Um, uh, Participant. Qualified participants that will be qualified that will be participating in the championship weekend, meaning the Soweto Olympics weekend. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when it comes to like preparing for for all of this, you know, practicing and all of that, I'm quite aware of the fact that some communities don't have all yeah. the facilities. Yeah. How is that going to happen? Look, it's, it's it's going to be very unfair for the communities that have dilapidated tennis courts because Bonyampe Mokasi ba jeli tennis court, the basketball court. But it's also setting the bar, taking the bar back where it's supposed to be and saying that government and everybody else, every stakeholder now needs to pull their socks up because the market is reactivated. We now need to make sure we've got enough sporting facilities in our township, in our different communities, so that when we all every year participate in, in the Olympics, we all have a fair share because we do have the facilities in our townships. Right now, there's nothing that is pushing government. The Mbalitlope um, is, is the MEC of sports. But with, when we present to us saying, here are the Olympics, you have to now see, to, uh, see, see to it that all communities have the, have the sporting codes so that the uh, playing field is balanced and it's level and no one has an advantage over the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is actually getting interesting and obviously the conversation will continue. Now in 2020, South Africa was expected to host its first ever World Olympic Games when the world was hit with an unexpected pandemic, which was COVID-19. And this year we saw China hosting the 2022 Olympic Games. After the ad break, we talk about that and the importance of bringing the games to the people. Make sure that you don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You're still watching Soda Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. If you just tuned in, you are not too late. We're still talking about the importance of bringing sports into our townships. And we are still joined by Soweto Parliament President Landa Lax, who came with a brilliant idea of bringing the Olympics to our communities. Now, I, I want us to get into the economy, how Olympics yeah. will actually, or rather sports, will contribute to the economy of, um, you know, of the township. Sure. Tell us about that. Yeah, look, brilliant question. So, um, the plan we have, you know, every Olympics has an opening night where there's no competition. It's just us displaying the different sporting codes and the culture of Soweto to those who are visiting to come and see, etc. Just displaying our own brilliance. And when that ends, that happens on the 28th. Of, it's, a, it's a Friday. So after the, the opening, we have partnered with various outlets like Konka, Disofeng, PDL, um, Malai, many, many, many. So there'll also be branded Soweto Olympics. And what you're trying to establish there is to create our own Black Friday. So at these outlets that are participating, when you go there, things will be cheap that night. Mm -hmm. You see, and mm -hmm. even that weekend, like like I was saying the other day, that you know people say toothpick ya ko four million, but on that weekend it's about four hundred dollar. So we've achieved to uh, our own Black Friday because we're all celebrating Black Friday. You don't even know who whose concept idea it was and you don't know what it's trying to achieve and we just participate in it. Mm -hmm. So in this one, you'll know that it will be deliberate, intentional and we'll, we will have put together something that will attract many people in Soweto. And once I say attract people in Soweto, I'm speaking tourism, okay. which is also part of our township economy. Mm -hmm. So with more people coming in, some might not care for the Olympics. Okay. Some might come because there's just festivity in Soweto. Mm -hmm. Gonkas from toothpick four million to 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 four rand. At mm -hmm. least they learn not laugh for the Gonka <laughs> that weekend. Mm -hmm. so, so so the ripple effect, the economic ripple effect, is that Hatoko Gonka because of the volume or number of people that will be in Soweto, the BNBs will now profit. Mm -hmm. and you see, so there's a ripple effect that is economic and that will benefit our township economy 100 percent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let, let's talk about collaborations. Yeah. Earlier on, you mentioned Betway yeah. um, as being one of the partners that will make yeah. sure that there's that million rand prize. I actually sure. watched one of your videos on social media yeah. where you said there's going to be a million rand prize yeah. for the award that's going to sure. win the Olympics. So, what other um, collaborations uh, should we expect on that day? Look, the the 
the, the new speaker um, that just um, got in, in the city mm -hmm. of Johannesburg, Mekolin, she yes. has raised her hand and said, this is brilliant. Which, which, other, which other event in the country can activate 22,000 young people to come in? So there's no way as her, under her leadership, there won't be participation. So we've, mm -hmm. we've partnered with her office to make sure that this happens and they're also involved. I'm speaking to Mbali Klopi, the MEC. I'm sure by the end of tonight, I'll know their level of participation. Um, I know the new mayor has given us so much blessings, uh, um, Dada. Um, and you know, we just have participation from government is, is, is amazing because it, they're starting to come in, we're confirming quite a few um, things at what level they're participating. Mm -hmm. And we're also talking to township economy, small businesses to also come through and participate and give them um, space where they can uh, sell their, their products, perhaps sell food. We just also finalizing those those few things. Mm -hmm. And um, but the, at at a high level, Betway is the is, is the is the company that came yeah, through right. and said, listen, we and our agencies and our partners will mm -hmm. make sure that we, we we help out and we we get the tracksuits for all the officials who we, we now have tracksuits written so we're to Olympics mm -hmm. 2022 and you know mm -hmm. Betway and the perhaps the company that is the, the the other agency partners that that they work with will see but, but the, the kit bag maybe will have a Puma or will have this company but they helped so much with getting corporate support for for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is definitely, you know, one of many. Is this something that's going to happen annually or maybe yeah. after a period of four years? No, no, certainly. I mean, we can't, we can't, um, uh, you know, just be half pregnant. We, we're going in deep. We're making sure that every year young people have a, an opportunity to display their excellence in the various sporting codes. Mm -hmm. You know, you, young people have something to work towards. If I'm, um, I do high jump. And I want, and that's what that's my preferred sport. That means throughout the year, I'm motivated to practice, get better, so that when the Olympics come back, I can also put put on the gold medal and get a lot of points from my community. Imagine that young child that's competing in the Olympics now, 2022. When they grow old, they'll be able to point out a hockey field or whatever they built with that million rand and said, "Go look at the names engraved. I am one of the people that made this possible." Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's amazing. Sure. Now, usually um, events like these, right, are known to bring communities together. Yeah. What do you want, you know, the government to copy out of this? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I know for sure, sure that, you know, so it is very influential sure. and other provinces, yeah. you know, will, you know, take something from this. Sure. What do you want the government to copy from this event? Look, the government of the day needs to understand that um, and maybe just remind itself what democracy is, what government actually is. It's for the mm -hmm. people by the people. You know, we don't have a government that lives in, in the sky. Mm -hmm. Government is with the people. The people are the government. So go government needs to literally draw itself towards the people and listen to the people. People know what they need in their own communities, you know. So plug in at community level and support people's ideas because the lot, we gave government how many years to, to try lead us into the direction that we think will make us all happy. Mm -hmm. And what do you find as a result? We've got drug-infested communities. We've got Nyope every street corner. We've got people fighting for family houses. So it's about time people started, start to realize that their partnership with government is for them to lead, not for them to be led. Because government is a system. They are the people with, with the soul that, need, that knows exactly what needs to be done today and for the future. So mm -hmm. I'm saying that government needs to go down to the people and listen to the people and support the people, not dictate and impose itself on the people. So that's the greatest lesson that comes out of this because the people of Soweto, through Soweto mm -hmm. Parliament, made this happen. Government mm -hmm. is now joining to support the people of Soweto and that's it. So mm -hmm. the people need to rise and wake up. There's no one coming to save you in mm -hmm. your communities. In Tanzania, it doesn't matter where you are, Alexandra, Tembisa, the townships, you need to rise and do it for yourself. If mm -hmm. they come, they come, but listen, with or without them, you're winning. And that's our attitude in Soweto, with or without them, who them is, they'll decide. With or without them, we're moving forward. Mm, okay, so now tell us about the first people that you brought this idea to. Uh, let me just say community members of Soweto because I believe you presented that to those people. How yeah. do they feel? We, look, our meetings are crazy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got one of the best parliaments in the world, definitely better than the South African parliament, and I'm saying that with all due respect. Um, when, is, when this was dropped in parliament, it was uncontested and everybody raised their hand. Then Parliament took a resolution that let's go. This is what we've all been waiting for. 
and Soweto being this influential, we're hoping that it will spill out across many other communities, not only black communities, even the young people in, in Santon and Pakist and Bryanston, they must open their own um, Bryanston parliament and Santon mm -hmm. parliament. As much as we now have Alexandra parliament and the townships mm -hmm. are catching on, once we are organized as a people, there's no one, there's nothing that will come before us. Everything will just follow where we, that, that we'll determine the direction that we need to take for our own people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually getting more interesting as time goes on. The conversation is in, is only getting better. But we have to take a short breather. And after the end break, we will talk to you about how you can get involved in the Soweto Olympic Games. We will see you right after this. Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Soda Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are almost at the end of the show and we are talking sports in our communities. Before the ad break, I mentioned how people can actually get involved in the um, Olympics now. So we, we want to know people that are watching because, I mean, this is something that's interesting and it's the first of its kind. How do people get involved? So you go to your ward councillor. Hmm. In every community, there's an office of the ward councillor. When you get there, this is in Soweto. When you get there, you inquire about the different sporting codes. Who are, the, who are some of the people that are already practicing? Maybe if you want to do 100 meter sprinting, then they'll tell you already that some of the people that are practicing are in your community are these people. You can go train with them so that you are ready, you are fit. Some of the guys, some of the communities are, are jogging every evening as a group just to get the team chemistry and get mm. their fitness up. So it's nice, it's bringing people together. So. Mm -hmm. That whoever doesn't know how to join, they need to go to the ward councillor or otherwise just call 076-191-7745, that's the parliament number, you'll get direction. But what's important is that you need to know that you're not running for yourself, you're doing it for yourself and community because the biggest price is for your community. So you need to understand that whatever happens, you need to do it with, with your community. But for another situation that's beyond people's control, maybe you've got a kid, um, a young person who's at UJ or who's at VITS, and is not necessarily always in the community, or perhaps even in Cape Town, and want to come participate. Originally, they're from Middleland, Soweto. Mm -hmm. Just know that on the 15th, everybody has to qualify. And you can come from UJ, from, mm -hmm. from Vits, wherever you, you live now, and come and qualify. As long as on the day you, you present an ID and we can verify with your what counselor that you do live in the, on, in, in the address that, that you are mm -hmm. presenting to us, then you, can, you are welcome, because not everyone can participate in the mm -hmm. Soweto Olympics. It's for us, it's for the people of Soweto to, be give, to, 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 to express their sports talent and see what we do with it. Because another big prize is, not, is, is that some of the best individual um, performances will be given a, an opportunity by Betway and, and Betway partners to, to see if we can put them in universities to study sports management so that they get qualification in the talent that they, they have and, on, on the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are people that actually feel um, left out yeah. in these Olympics, which are people that are with special needs. Sure. You know, do you think that you yeah. could maybe consider also having yeah. Paralympics in yeah, the future? Yeah. It's coming, it's coming, because we are, we are not the government of the day. We are the leadership of the people, and we use the little resources that we have to lead the people and invest in our communities. Mm -hmm. So with, with, more, with more interest, I think that w when these Olympics are done, we will have a product that we can take to even bigger corporates and say that we want to expand this brilliance that we achieved with so much. With your participation, we can include our disabled community because we have a very big disabled community in Soweto that, needs, that also needs the opportunity to express themselves mm -hmm. and, and so forth. You know? So we all, we're also looking forward to having a kids Olympics, um, mm -hmm. Soweto Kids Olympics and all the kids can participate at primary school level just to get them conditioned that in Soweto we are active citizens, we don't just laze around and, and, and chill in street corners, we are better human beings than that. What you're seeing in Soweto now is a, is a result of the systems producing people who do that. So we are now putting together new systems for the future young person to be more productive you know, com as compared to us. We, we got it the hard way, the systems are not favoring us. So we need to do better for those that are coming after us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where about in Soweto will these yeah. Olympics be taking place? The main, the main uh, stadium is the UJ Soweto campus. It's mm -hmm. got the best facility for athletics, so it's a no-brainer. That's where 
this the biggest sporting event in Soweto mm -hmm. will be. Um, we've got Nike, Sharpa Nike Soweto, the skateboarding um, park is there and the, the young people who already use that skate park are going to be using it because skateboarding is part of Olympic sports. And then we've got the Soweto Dam where um, the canoeing and rowing will be, Soweto Country Club, the golf course where the golf will be. Um, uh, but every other information, depending mm -hmm. on the sporting code, on the 15th, the qualifiers, you can call the number that I gave you. I can repeat it, 076-191-7745. You'll get better direction as to where to go. But to the first point of departure, make sure you inquire who else in mm -hmm. your community. And if you're listening, make sure that you also become a mouthpiece for the community. Tell everybody that you know that Mamela, Arkopaning, Ruchiming, Ruletang, Rizamo qualifier. Because of if we can qualify in numbers, then you've got more chances of competing uh, in the Olympics weekend and bringing back the million rand for our community instead of it going elsewhere. So when they do, during the selection, right, do, it, do, do they do it per ward? Like you said, um, we can decide as a certain ward that, yeah. guys, let's just be a team. Yeah. It could be people that are going to be participating in different sports. Yeah. And then when we go for the actual qualifiers, qualifiers yeah. what do you do? Do you then uh, pick based on the award or yeah. how does it work? No, no, so qualifiers is qualifiers. You, you just pick the best. So let's go using 100 meters as, a, as an example again. If we say we want 10 fastest sprinters in Soweto, that's it, we need 10. Mm, okay. So it, that, we're not taking one rep from each ward. Oh, it's okay. performance based. So if, you, if you're in the top uh, 10 fastest sprinters, then those sprinters will, will go sprint in the Olympics weekend and we see who gets first, second, third, like the Olympics that we watch um, on, on TV when the countries are competing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I'm sure a lot of questions that are coming um, from people that are actually watching. How long will the Olympics take? And also, when are they going to start? And yeah. when sh are they expected yeah. to end? So the 15th, so it's just a weekend thing. The 15th is, is the qualifiers. And then on the 28th is the opening of the Olympics. It's a Friday. Mm -hmm. And on the 29th, Saturday the 29th, is actually competition day. Mm -hmm. where, and because we've got different hosting venues, it doesn't have to happen over, stretch it over, over a week or even a, a full weekend. So everything, most sports will be done on Saturday. If there's anything that, that, that perhaps the weather's bad and means to continue for Sunday, we'll continue for Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then we'll announce the winning community and the, and the individual winners. And we'll go on Sunday, we then parade around the winning community to present the big check for the community because mm -hmm. that's, that's the check of hope, you know, mm -hmm. that says, like right now in Soweto, the millions of people can't play hockey because we don't have an AstroTurf that where you can play hockey. Mm -hmm. Maybe the winning community can say, we want an AstroTurf. Mm -hmm. That means that Soweto now can produce hockey players that can represent the country. Right now, all our young people are just mm -hmm. sitting there and there's no way that the future hockey team can have someone from Soweto unless you managed to escape and went to a UCT where you, hockey was introduced to you, but at a late stage, mm -hmm. okay. you see? So we're trying to fix that. That, 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 that status quo. We're trying to get rid of what we've now normalized and introduce new systems to make sure that the future is better than today. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you mentioned that the ultimate, yeah. pri ultimate price rather will be yeah. 1 million rand, sure. right, sponsored by Betway. Yeah. Are there going to be like some first prize, second prize, or it's just going to be one prize for the day? I also took you off our offer. I spoil bread. So I was yellow. So the winner is the winner. So the winner will take the big check, and mm -hmm. the individual winners will probably see themselves in universities, high high performance centers in, mm -hmm. in in Pretoria, where they can you know be take their talent can be sharpened a bit and see if they can take it to to the next level, compete for the country, mm -hmm. go to better to bigger bigger competition um, mm -hmm. events and so forth. Yeah. Okay, so you spoke about the 15th, we're not sure, is it going to be October, November? No, no, December? everything is this month. This, October. October is the month of the Soweto Olympics. Okay. So October it is, so the 15th of this month mm -hmm. and uh, is the qualifier. So everybody in Soweto, Soweto Olympics at any sport, mm -hmm. you need to do it. But for, as for the soccer, uh, the soccer starts because it, it's a kickoff thing. The soccer is going to start earlier, but in your wards, you can go to the councillor's office, find who's your principal, the Soweto Parliament rep in your ward through the councillor's office. You get more information from there. Alternatively, just call the number. Then you get better direction as what to do, mm -hmm. how to join your, how to go trial in your, in your soccer team that will be representing your community in the Soweto mm -hmm. Olympics and so forth. Yeah. We are certainly looking forward yeah. to this one. As, like I said, it's going to be a first of its kind. Sure. And we've already gotten an invite, right? I think you spoke to the guys earlier and said we should make sure that yeah. we, we are there to No, but the Soweto so TV shouldn't need an invite. Soweto TV should be first man on the mm -hmm. ball in anything that is major, not even just major, mm -hmm. anything in Soweto, you know? Mm -hmm. You should be... 
you should be there. And I'm, I'm expecting, I don't need to send an email, I'm expecting mm-hmm. Soweto TV to be, there. to be there so that the, the, the history that we are making can mm-hmm. be on, captured by Soweto TV so that mm-hmm. our, our people hear it first from Soweto TV mm-hmm. rather than other, other platforms. Other platforms. You know? yeah. right, so you have to be you. ready. We want, we want when I, I'm going to qualify by the way, and it's the first mm. time I say it on the platforms. I'm going to try qualify. <laughs> okay. So if I qualify for like 100 meters or hurdles, mm-hmm. I'm going You'll to look, there. I'm going to look where the cameras are at Asoeto TV, because you have to capture that moment. Okay, yeah. no, we really yeah. need to capture that and one. Mo- Thank and you so Abba much Koko, for joining all, us. And all of our Coco and Soeto are coming to watch me, so I better okay. put my, sex, my socks <laughs> up and qualify, because Olympics weekend, they're expecting me to, qual- to, be to be participating. I don't know if they think I'm still in my 20s or uh-huh. not, but yeah, so I've got that pressure. So okay. um, everybody is invited. And another big thing, I'm closing the show now. Another <laughs> big thing is that celebrity that we've got during, during um, on Saturday, uh-huh. Celebrity 100 Meter Race. Mm-hmm. We'll announce who the celebrities are on our social medias. Oh, and okay. the celebrity that wins, males and females, they're going to uh, they win 10,000 rand that mm-hmm. they can um, donate. donate to any, any, oh, any wow. um, okay. outreach program in Soweto. Right. So that's fun for them too. And even okay. our councillors are going to have a race and see who's the fastest councillor. Mm-hmm. And also they, they win money that they can donate to any charity in Soweto. All right, yeah. thank you so much for Appreciate joining it. us, Mr. Thank Lex. Yeah. We are looking forward to the event. It seems yeah. like it's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, that was Soweto Parliament President Landla Lax taking us through about uh, the inaugural Soweto Olympic Games. This event is one that's going to set to be a game changer and uplift the township economy. Well, that's how we wrap up today's show of uh, Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to engage with us by simply sending us an email on Today at sototv.co.za. Alternatively, you can contact us on 011-9333-3000. From myself and the rest of the team, we will see you on the next news bulletin that's coming right after this. So goodbye for now.